Hey all, welcome to another commentary done by Diggity. This is going to be a correction game. As previously I declared machine the victory of the semi-fan- uh, the blah, blah, blah. Can't even talk. This is what's been going on for me lately. It's been a rough month. Semi-final match there. I mismarked game one. So Tucson still has a shot here in the semi-final upper left-hand corner. We have Tucson starting as the Peach Terran upper right-hand corner. We have Machine starting as the Grey Zerg, and Tucson should show me up by sweeping the series from here on out. This is going to be on Turbine. Going to do the map reveal once again. Got the interesting map feature in the middle, the somewhat exposed natural expansion, which, yeah, maybe lurkers can get down here, but I feel like it is more of a threat of siege tanks overall. And it is going to be... I don't know if I want to say this favors Zerg or this favors Terran, because you've got a ramp and even creep colonies that allow... You can see how the creep spreads automatically with that creep colony at location, so you can get an earlier sunken colony down. So you get the free 12th hatch... You do get the free natural expansion as Terran, that you can take a little bit more rapidly. But you still kind of have to go about your usual build order. In the meantime, it feels like once Zerg secures the elevated position, rather than, it's not a lot of odds that your Zerg opponent's going to go for this. I mean, you might as well go for the other expansion, right? At which point you've secured not just three gas, but four gas. So I'm wondering if that ends up being a factor. We'll have to see how these guys play it out. 12, it looks like we are, in fact, seeing an opening 12th hatch machine meandering out. Maybe even going to go for... We'll see if he's just going to scout south first. But I'm almost wondering if players could pull off uh, quick 3 hatch builds on this map. Just get a slew of Zerglings out. Play the game from there. Anyway, Tucson familiar with this. He's going to go ahead and go for a... Not even a 13cc, 14cc opener. So getting the command center at his natural expansion. Drone... Scouting everything down here. One advantage of Tucson, or one advantage for machine of Tucson opting for this build is it does not stop the drone scout from getting in unless you do this. Let's see if this is going to be in time. SCV trying? No, that's just going to go out to scout. Not going to block the way. Oh, drone scout, what are you doing? You got to get to the base. Looks like it's not going to bother because the overlord's going to sail overhead, but well, I get, you know, that's. Kind of what you want. You just want to spot that barracks on the front anyway, right? So, yeah. Machine going to drop back. For a second there, I, might, I was thinking what he might want to do is check whether there's a gas here. Maybe some action like that. But the Overlord, seeing the barracks, plenty of info. Second barracks being produced on the front. I think Machine just out of vision to see it. So I don't know whether he's got that confirmed or not. Already has that second hatchery up and rolling. Making his way towards Layer Tech. So follow up with a... Two barracks build for Tucson. First two Zerglings out. Not in sufficient time to dissuade this SCV. SCV able to confirm upgrade to Lair, which suggests this is going to be two hatch Mutalisk. Zerglings swing back. Look like they're going to... Yeah, they got that SCV pinned in the corner. Wipe that out. So lack of information now for Tucson. Looks like he is going to send out another SCV as a precaution. And no movements. So additional two Zerglings being produced. Sometimes what you can, when Zerg get their opponent in the dark, you can go for a flood. And this isn't a fully sealed front door. Two Marines on the edges. The Zerglings, wow, just hanging out on the doorstep. Four Zerglings could run up here and get some damage done. But there's a small timing where they might be able to get a Marine kill or two. Drone moving out to go ahead and grab a third base. SCVs in hot pursuit. Looks like it's going to... Well, is it going to check this interior base? Zerglings wandering up. Looks like they were able... I shouldn't have watched the drone chase. Managed to get one kill. Damage a second marine. Now they are marching out. Overlord has been spotted in that bottom right-hand corner, but let us they're making movements to the 6 o'clock location. Where you can see that hatchery is being pocketed into the natural and machine right now at location doesn't really first of all let's see if tucson is clever yeah he's gonna pull up short he could drop a bunker if he wanted and that's certainly going to be a dead hatchery very clever play from him that's going to be a big boon third barracks 
dropping behind this. He's got an academy up and running, engineering bay, almost finished. Spire, just about complete. But bunker up, machine without defense forces. Two more Zerglings making their way out, another SV walking, and it looks like this is clever from Tucson as well. He's gonna let He's gonna let that hatchery finish. So he's sure to get a kill. Spire is up. Zergling's testing that front to see the Marine count. <laughs> Currently only four Marines. In about a minute until there's going to be a lot of Mutalisks in this base. And there's some macro being missed here from Tucson. He needs to make sure that he gets a lot of turrets down in short order because he's only going to have, because of these three stranded Marines. Ah, oh, Machine spotted it. So cancellation right there. Still a victory. Delays a lot of time, but the Mutalisks are in flight and those Marines need to get back. I think Tucson realized it, so plopped units in to force that cancellation. Now trying to draw back, but now you've got three Marines and an SCV that might be, and yeah, the Mutalisk waiting for them, might be a free kill. And this is a lot of space to cover. Group prepare on that turret. Marines cutting off the Mutalisk reinforcements. More Mutalisks grouping up, and it looks like Tucson getting back in the nick of time, so able to den deny that third and getting an early Mutalisk kill. Not sure he managed that kill, that Lave hitting an uh, earlier weakened Mutalisk, poking away at that creep colony to open up the front third hatchery now at the 3 o'clock location, and a fourth hatchery immediately behind it. So Machine trying to play economic catch-up. More Mutalisks taking flight. He's going to have to rely... On Mulisks. I'm wondering if he's going to opt to skip Lair, or sorry, skip Lurkers to try to make this work and just rely on the fact that this is so much territory to cover for Tucson that he's going to be locked into his base for a considerable amount of time. Still waiting on range there. Eight Mulisks pounding away at the turret. Not quite able to get the kill because of excellent turret repair. One Mulisk goes down. Marines taking some shots. Bunker's still hanging out there. The bottom left in corner also going to spot anything else that might have been grabbed. Marines in position, but some nice Muta Micro able to shred some of these medic marine forces. And Machine wiping out nearly every medic marine there. Group repair on the turret once again, forcing the Mutalisks back. Machine able to pick off a bonus SCV right there and two more stranded Marines. So a huge and more coming. More Mutalisks coming. Machine might want to just end it on Mutalisks alone here, honestly. This is a full control group of Mutalisks. Plus one armor is going to finish. He's got two bases that he can get up and running to go up to not just three gas, but four gas potentially. And yeah, he might just be able to end the game here to advance to the semifinal because he has so many Mutalisks and I do not see a just very insufficient ground forces to stop this tide. A wave of flappy bats in the air. More Mutalisks pouring on the pressure and yeah, you can see a lot waiting to join the fray. Barracks being forced to be lifted off. Machine unrelenting with the attack. And as I say that, he backs off. Looking to sweep around, potentially back to the natural expansion. And here's the thing. Even if Tucson holds this, there's still, yeah, third gas up and rolling. Some mutalists are going to that location just in case something swept out. But right now, there's not even a full control group of Marines out on the field. Double starport's been dropped to potentially get a science vessel out to try to turn this back around. A barracks has been lifted off, now being repaired. More Mutalisks diving in. I think Machine realizes he's in a situation where he can win this on Muta power alone. He's got to chew through a lot of turrets, though, to make that happen. Marines pressing forward. Plus one weapons is there. Range as well. Machine just diving on top of this Marine force with all of his Mutalisks. Sacrifices one, but he's got the drones to go ahead and grab his fourth. More Mutalisks pressing forward. Is he going for, yeah, going for plus one weapons on top of it? 
delaying Hive Tech just to see if he can win it this way. Huge supply lead currently. And right now, Tucson not able to recover. Two barracks have been silent this entire time. But science vessels are on the way. Full control group of Mutalisks now on the main. Pushing in, doing additional damage. Going for supply depots up above, just trying to see what havoc they can wreak. Now getting caught. Or are they catching the Marines? I'm not sure which. It looks like there's just too many Mutalists. They're going to be able to wipe out that Medic Marine army again. One Marine remaining that was protected by the floating barracks. And Machine just seems to have full reign over Tucson's base. Ahead in supply, even on workers. That is not a good situation for Terran. Two science vessels waiting for Radiate to finish, potentially, or to have energy to drop it. But these Mutalists are, have just been lambasting Tucson's base with that delay in time. And did he just not have enough resources? Potentially not. Maybe he lost track of his science vessels here. Hasn't drawn them up yet. More Mutalists incoming. Finally, an Irradiate dropped on this grouping. He does have another one. Yeah, comps adding to make sure that they're dead. But still more Mutalisks out there. And that's four gas now up and running for a machine. Starting to establish that economy. He's already at Hive. Making his way to Lurker at this stage. to Defiler Mound plop down. A Marine Force limping out of the base. Machine on the verge of a semi-final berth. And wow, this huge flock of Mutalisks. Engaging these lonely Marines. They don't even have medic support. I think they're just moving out there to try to find something to accomplish and instead sacrificing their lives for measly scouting information. Science vessels are locked in position at the main. They still need to have additional radiates just in case machine pushes in with another attack. And speaking of another attack, as long as machine actually doesn't control group these mutalisks up, Still might have success with what's remaining. Might even be able to pick that science vessel off. Some Scourge now incoming. They're going to push those science vessels away from the rest of this army. And there is not sufficient anti-air underneath this. And even if there is, Machine's economy is rolling to have a very smooth transition into the late game. Four bases. I think an Overlord did get killed. That was the control grouping... Control grouped with these Mutalisks. Heard that happen in the background, so small mercies, but now this is just a clinic. There's an Irradiate. Two Irradiates drop, but one of the science vessels losing their lives for it. And just look at the SCV count remaining at the main. Just five. Five left, and the Mutalisks still diving in and picking off Marines. Those Mutalisks absolutely feasting. Defiler's already taking the field. Double Evolution Chamber behind this. Greater Spire morphing. So these two Mutalists are potentially going to be Guardians down the line. The great hope for every Mutalisk. Marines once again moving out without medic support. Three science vessels leading the way. Comsatting, they have found an expansion here with only a single Sutton colony, but three of these eggs. Yeah, Tucson just going to GG right there. Upon seeing that fourth base up and running. So Tucson falls to Machine. Machine advances to the BSL Season 14 Hostile League Grand Finals. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Sorry for the misnumbering on the uh, wins and losses. Small mercies. Uh, yeah, thanks for listening.